folks at home, at home, you might be wondering, why is this such a big deal for manufacturing? Because they see America's back and America's leading the way. Correct me if I'm wrong, Pat, but I was, I was impressed. You're going to dig down 60 feet, 10 football fields long. Am I able to write a message? If you would like to, sir. I would like to. And everything you spoke of is about life, isn't it? And what we can do through food, through the growth of agriculture, that, that really is so exciting. When President Biden and I ran for office, we promised that we would not raise taxes on families making less than $400,000 a year. And we have kept that promise. Trying to get costs down. A new Gallup poll shows that 24% of Americans have um, spending less. They've changed their spending habits. 17% are driving less because of inflation. 17% have traveled less or canceled vacations. The president's been to his beach house six times. He went on vacation in North and South Carolina. Is he considering any spending cuts for the administration or for himself personally because of inflation? Wait, can you say that part again? Yeah, so the president is, uh, 17% of Americans have, according to this Gallup poll, have canceled vacations or traveled less. The president's been to his beach house six times this year. He's been in North and South Carolina on vacation. Has the president himself considered personally reducing his spending because of inflation or had the administration uh, reduce spending? So can I, I, I'll say this. Um, the times that the president has gone to Delaware, uh, not including, and we were very clear that when he went to South Carolina uh, in August and uh, Rehoboth, he was going to go spend time with his family. Uh, as it relates to trips that he's made uh, to Delaware, uh, look, the way we see that is the president could be president anywhere. Uh, look, when it comes to inflation, the president has been very clear on this. When it comes to his economic plan and dealing with inflation. Why do you guys keep saying the Inflation Reduction Act is reducing prices. Because in the Inflation Reduction Act, when you look at Medicare, lowering costs. But a majority of Americans now say that price increases are causing them financial hardship. That is more than at the start of the year. So where's the inflation reduction for everything else? So here's the thing, the inflation reduction. Federal judge talked about the social media in Missouri and Louisiana. A federal judge ordered that you have 20 days to turn over emails of communicating with social media companies over misinformation and uh, disinformation. Um, what are those emails going to show? What kind of communication? I, I cannot say more uh, from here. It is an ongoing uh, litigation, as you know, and so I would uh, refer you to the department. What about if those communications are still happening? Are there frequent contacts between the administration and social media companies? So I'll say this, you know, as, as we have said before, there has been ongoing work uh, dating to the Trump administration to provide accurate. Last Friday, the energy secretary said a green technology in California that that state was in the lead and showing the rest of the nation how it's done. California is in the lead, can show the rest of the nation how it is done. The state is currently bracing for blackouts. They've set ambitious goals, yet in particular, their, their governor is asking folks there not to charge their electric vehicles. Does the president agree that California is an example for the rest of the country as it transitions? I haven't seen those specific statements. Uh, I would like to see it in fuller context. <laughs> Joe, honestly, everybody stood but Joe. <laughs> That's why you'll be considered one of the most consequential presidents in our history, along with one of the most consequential first ladies. You know, uh, Michelle, he knows, we all know, he couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> Please give it up for Michelle Obama. Rock and Michelle, welcome home. Jill and I and Kamala and Doug are honored uh, to host you and so many friends who have been part of this incredible journey. It includes members of your cabinet and staff, some of whom were foolish enough to come work with me. <laughs> and I'm especially glad to see so many of you serving President Biden 
as well as you served me. Although uh, now some of you who, let's face it, you were kids back then, are now <laughs> in charge and running the show, which is a little shocking. Uh, thanks for letting us invite a few friends to the White House. Uh, we will try not to tear up the place. Someone, <laughs> someone once said that if you're looking for a friend in Washington, get a dog. <laughs> Our family was lucky enough to have two wonderful dogs. But I was even luckier to have a chance to spend eight years working day and night with a man who became a true partner and a true friend. Joe, it is now America's good fortune to have you as president. Thank you. What am I doing? I'm going out here. And it's choosing to, to one of the things that uh, has been out there to shut down the pipeline of Nordstrom One. Uh, so the same Senator Ted Cruz has uh, publicly invited, suggested that you come down to see that for yourself. Who? You, Wait, Senator who? Ted Cruz of Texas. <coughs> He's, he's suggested that you come down and see for yourself whether migrants are actually crossing the border by foot. Um, is that something that you would take him up on? So I've been to the border. I went in 2018. Uh, I stood outside facilities where the Trump administration was. One thing I, I will say is I certainly don't need lectures uh, or invitations from Republicans about the border or uh, border policies. And, um, you know, and I certainly won't take advice on border from, from anyone. Welcome back. I know you guys are excited to be back with us. All right, I have one thing at the top, and as you all know, uh, we probably have about 30 minutes or so um, for the next event that the president. I, I, I got to jump around. No, 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 no. I got to jump around. I got to jump around. Go ahead. So I'm just not going to comment anything. Uh, we're, we're just going to we're going to move around because I, I literally have two minutes. Go ahead. One last question. One last question. Wages are up. Unemployment remains near a 50 year low. And the big reason for all this is the American Rescue Plan that I signed into law shortly after taking office. Not one single Republican vote. The critics who have not been stepping up to support working people would like to throw out all these red herrings, these distractions, and talk about how we're going to pay for it. Well, let me tell you, if anybody asks you how we're going to pay for all of this, do let them know. As promised, we will not raise taxes on anyone making less than $400,000 a year.